This video will introduce you to the three physiological planes of a patient and along with their associated motions and axes. We'll begin with the sagittal plane. To imagine the sagittal plane, think of a line right down the middle of your patient, going from their nose all the way down to the midline in between their feet. When you think of a plane in your head, think of a buzz saw that's going right through the patient, cutting the patient all the way through from head to toe. So the sagittal plane again is a huge plane that goes right through the patient's midline from head to toe. Motion in the sagittal plane consists of flexion. Let's go ahead and flex forward. You can see he's moving forward in the sagittal plane and extension. There's flexion and go ahead and go back into extension and there you go, there's extension. The axes for these movements and for this plane is the transverse axis. To imagine an axis in your head, think of it as the point or the rod or the pole that the patient is moving over during motion in that plane. So the transverse pole is right here through the patient between his two hands. And so when he moves in flexion, he's squeezing himself around that pole, almost as if there's a pole going through his body. The next plane of motion we're going to go through is the coronal plane of motion. Now the coronal plane of motion is from the patient's side. So you can think of it as the patient wearing a crown, almost like the Statue of Liberty. So again, the plane of motion goes all the way from the patient's head, all the way down their side, and all the way down to their feet. The motion in this plane of motion, in this coronal plane of motion, is side bending. So you can see the patient is moving in that coronal plane, and they can side bend to each side. So again, imagine your patient being cut with a buzzsaw along that plane, and that's the plane that they're moving in. Now the axis for that plane of motion is anterior-posterior. Meaning, imagine a pole going through your patient, and that, potion, that patient excuse me, is rotating around that pole. The last plane of motion is the cervical plane of motion. Excuse me, it's the transverse plane of motion. Transverse plane of motion is horizontal or parallel to the ground through your patient, like so. So imagine your patient being cut with a bandsaw parallel with the ground, and that is the transverse plane of motion. The movement associated with this plane is rotation. So as the patient rotates, you can see him rotate from side to side. Now the axis is vertical. So here you can imagine a pole going straight down through your patient that they cannot move from, but they can rotate along that pole, and that is the axis associated with the transverse, also known as horizontal plane of motion. 